Hello, it's Danny from Split Diversion. Now imagine my surprise when I found this when I got home. Okay, so if you aren't already aware, this is a GTX 780 and it's one of the higher end video cards from NVIDIA. Right now I have the EVGA version of the reference model. So I'm going to unbox it for you guys right here. I'll let you guys see the, the, the um, let you see the back a little bit. So there's a reference card, display port, HDMI, DVI, DVI-D, no VGA, but I believe they do come with a DVI to VGA adapter. This comes with a bunch of key features. Can't get this camera to focus. Here, Precision X. That's what you use to overclock it. Alright. Oh, better cut the seal. Okay, I believe this is a poster. Wow. Okay, um, I'll, show, I'll put a clip on to show you guys how it actually looks like because I can't fit it in this area I'm recording right now. Okay, lots of stuff here. User, user manual. Um, this driver's disc. Okay, I guess this is a driver's disc. This is a little um, sticker you can put on your computer. This one's actually made out of metal. That's a pretty nice touch. Um, the driver's disc, I don't really know of any use for that because you can just find the drivers on the website. I guess for those who don't really have internet connection at the moment. And here's some stickers. So right here, yes, okay, so this is a DVI to VGA adapter. Um, for those who still use VGA monitors, I'd probably recommend upgrading to a DVI monitor. Or even HDMI works really well. This uh, some stuff for your power supply, and this is the video card. As you can see, it is huge. Maybe just pop it open here. All right, here it is. Okay, so this is made of aluminum. It is a fan and a huge heat sink. Heat sink's actually covered in glass. Here's the back plate of it. Sticker right here. So I'm going to install it into my computer now. Okay, so to install the card, the first thing you're going to want to do is switch off your power supply. And now you can proceed to just unplug everything in here. So I'm going to start off with this. Um, I'm going to do, or I'm going to hopefully do a gaming setup video sometime in the future. Uh, if I find the time to clean up the house a little bit because very messy place and I don't want to make a video about messy place. I put up a, a sneak peek picture on the screen right now. You can see that? Okay, so here's my computer. As you can see, I didn't actually build it. Um, it was pre-built by Dell, but I have already customized a few parts. Um, if you could, I'd really recommend just building a computer. Okay, so you're going to want to start by turning the case around. Usually, cases would have a screw on the side panel right here about here but um i lost mine no, i'm just kidding i didn't actually lose it but that's my excuse for not using one because it doesn't make much of a difference if you don't have any screw in there um basically you just pop off the plate here we are if the plate comes off um i would probably recommend turning the case over like this just so then uh you have a good view of it and wow that's a lot of dust this is uh, my current GPU it's the 550 Ti cable management in here also isn't the greatest but what you're gonna want to do is um, gonna want to take your current GPU out first by unplugging it there might be one or two cables that you have to unplug in this case I only have one from the power supply 
So what you do now is you have to unscrew the bolt here, the screw here to the side. You can see that. Okay. It should also be noted that not every chassis has um, an option to unscrew like this. Some probably have alternate ways to secure the GPU, but in my case, it's just a screw. That comes off. You wouldn't want to lose this because it's really important for securing the graphics card. And this side plate just pops off. Okay, that leaves the graphics card exposed. At this point, you can just pull it out. Oh, okay, my bad. There's a... On my board, at least, there's a little thing you have to press on the side here. And here is my old GPU. The GTX 780. Now, if you want to compare the size of it, this card is humongous. Yeah, at first, I was actually afraid that this card might not fit in the computer. But, I've determined that it would probably fit. Okay, I cleaned up my cables a little bit. One thing I should add, if you have a mid-tower ATX case and you plan on upgrading your power supply or just changing it, please do yourself a favor and get a modular power supply because as you can see, this is non-modular. And the cables run everywhere. It's ridiculous. But I managed to pull out the two PCI Express um, kind of pin connectors. So you want to get those out first, just in case you get trapped somewhere around the card. Leave a large area exposed for your card because, or at least for the 780, it's a huge card. It takes a little bit of patience, but once, once it's in there, into position and you press down. There you go. The graphics card is now connected to the motherboard. If your graphics card is like mine and it requires a lot of power, it's best to do this now. Um, you plug these in. Okay, got that side in. That was hard to do because the case is really small. And there's a second one. So unfortunately my case doesn't have very great air ventilation. I do plan on upgrading my chassis sometime later, but for now, I guess I wouldn't really overclock the car since my power supply isn't that much anyways. It's 650 watts. So now what you're going to want to do is just put this plate back on and just follow your footsteps. Finally, that took a while. Screw it back in. There you go. And you could clean up your cable management a little bit here. And do any other upgrades if you need. But we're practically done. So you can put your you can put your panel back on. Secure it. And the next part is to install drivers. But since I previously had the 550, I won't need to install any more drivers because well, they run off the same drivers. It's it's the GeForce experience. So I've noticed there's a lot of dust in here. So just be aware, um, you'd always want to clean off your GPU every now and then. Okay, so now I guess I'll run some tests, maybe with Painfall. So we'll see how it goes. So as you can see, I've set all these settings to maximum. And I am about to jump in to show you how it performs. Okay, so right now we are in a game of attribution. Um, as you can see, I have it all set to maximum and bandy cams running in the background. It's not recording, but it's showing the frames per second. It's running stable around 60 frames per second, which is really impressive because this game is running at maximum. I do also want to note that it is being recorded with Nvidia Shadow Play and it it's probably the best game recording software I've come by so far. Just because it's so lightweight and it records in 60 frames per second, which is really nice. Actually, now I kind of think about it, it's probably limiting my frames to 60 frames per second right now. Without recording, it'd probably be significantly higher.
But as you can see, under stressful situations, the 780 handled it very well. Now, because the 780 wasn't really being challenged with Painfall, clearly, I decided that I'd switch over to Minecraft, which seems kind of funny, but I do have Shaders Pack installed, and um, they seem pretty stressful on the card when you set them to maximum. So we'll see how it goes. As you can see on Minecraft, the 780 is handling the graphics really well. Uh, right now you're seeing Sildur's Shaders pack, which is less, I guess, it's less stressful on the car than Sonic Ethers, but I will be showing Sonic Ethers right about now as well. Both actually look really nice. I have it set to maximum rendering and maximum shadow processing, so it all looks really smooth and it's actually playable at around 19 to 25 frames per second for both of them. I'd probably recommend keeping them at default settings though, since it runs really smoothly at around 70 frames per second. So that's it for this really long video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button because that helps me tremendously. And um, besides that, thanks for watching.